After earning his bachelor's degree at Ohio University in 1980 and a master's at Wisconsin Stevens Point in 1984, Scott Johnson went to work with the Wisconsin Cooperative Wildlife Research Unit in Madison, Wisconsin. In December of 1986, he joined the Indiana Department of Natural Resources as a non-game mammologist, a role he served in for nearly 30 years. He was promoted to Wildlife Science Program Manager in 2015 and Wildlife Science Supervisor in 2019. Throughout his career, Johnson also has managed the endangered species aspect of the Division of Fish and Wildlife. Over the years, he has been involved with species ranging from Franklin's ground squirrels and bats to river otters, bobcats, and Allegheny wood rats. Johnson is one of the state's premier experts on white nose syndrome in bats, as well as bat conservation, management, and research. From general ecological studies to conservation and education efforts to the reintroduction of river otters, the Warren, Ohio native has accomplished much in his 35 years with the DNR. Since 2017, he has been honored with the Midwest Bat Working Group's Dave Rodell Lifetime Achievement Award, the Indiana Chapter of the Wildlife Society's Hoosier Wildlife Award, and the Sassafras Audubon Society's Lifetime Conservationist Award. For his significant contributions to the state of Indiana, Purdue Forestry and Natural Resources is proud to honor Scott Johnson as its 2022 Lifetime Achievement Recipient of the Chase S. Osborne Award for Wildlife Conservation. I'd like to thank um, or recognize the wildlife faculty at FNR. I, I understand they were the, the group of individuals that uh, nominated me and to to those folks like i said i've got a high level of respect for them um and a nomination coming from them uh, means means a lot to me um i'd also like to thank the people of indiana for um the contributions they've made to the non-game wildlife fund many of the things that we've been able to accomplish here in indiana or i've been able to accomplish haven't wouldn't have been possible without their, their monetary donations to, the, to that fund. I think in the 40 years where they've contributed or they, the, the greater good for over $13 million. So that's, that's helped us a lot, obviously. And then our uh, agency uh, leadership, uh, supervisors, peers, colleagues within uh, not only Fish and Wildlife, but within the DNR and the Fish and Wildlife Service and other state and federal agencies. You don't get anywhere successfully without uh, a big team. And all those folks provided the support, the enthusiasm and contributed to a lot of the, the stories uh, that, that I'm getting credited for. Also would like to uh, recognize my family, my wife, Julie. She's been a support staff for me and a, a real um, partner in, in all of this. Uh, we have two sons, uh, one went to Purdue and he's, uh, happily employed as an engineer, Dustin, uh, and our other son went to IU, uh, Eric Johnson. And so uh, thanks to them too for um, putting up with those long trips to uh, Louisiana and days coming home late or nights coming home late. Uh, and they were always really there for me.